Hi Gems, it's your girl Amber and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's look is a look that I should have had out to you guys already. I've been holding on to this palette for some time and I finally had some downtime with my hectic schedule to film a look using the coveted Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys know, if you've been following me for some time, the day I fell in love with Anastasia Beverly Hills, it really started with the Artist Couture palette and that Morocco. Just looking for the perfect transition shade for us women of color. I've used it on myself, clients. It's just taken me so far that I've already hit pan in the palette and I have some reserve single pans uh, just in case for those days where I'm like, ah, oh, a little panic. But, um, so I didn't expect anything less from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the quality of her formula and the color payoff and just the overall packaging. It's just done with such sophistication. Um, these colors are an array of soft, um, feminine, gentle colors, as I like to say. And that's exactly what I wanted to create today. Just a very beautiful glamorous soft that added a little bit of glitter to my lids because i just wanted a little bit more pop but if you're interested in how i achieve this look using my anastasia beverly hills palette keep watching all right gems i already did my brows off camera i used my mac dip brow i used my mac select cover up concealer and set it all with my studio fix powder in nw48 so let's just jump right into this beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Um, for my first transition color, I'm using Raw Sienna, just above, above, <laughs> just above the crease, um, but slightly below the brow bone, just to create a first transition shade um, as I apply uh, darker colors underneath. Then following this transition shade, I jump right into my Real Gar. I believe is the name of it. It does remind me a little bit of Morocco. It has to be, I would say it's paternal twin rather than fraternal, if that makes any sense. And I'm applying this directly into the crease of the lid in a windshield wiper motion and just blending those two colors together, really blowing it out so that there's no harsh lines and seamless application. Um, and then I'm taking a clean buffing blending brush and just marrying those together to make sure that it's not too harsh, you know? I really want to have a soft, elegant feel. Then I go into Love Letter, which is a really pretty plum color with my MAC 224 brush directly into the crease right over top of Real Gar. I hope I'm saying that right. Real Gar. Yeah. Anyway, so Love Letter is that berry color. And it's super pigmented and pretty. Not a lot of fallout. I mean, if you're familiar with Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows, you know that they are creamy and just, I don't know, just kind of and there's some pretty stuff. I'm using my NYX um, white base, shadow base. This is very similar to the jumbo pencil, but they put it in a in a little jar form, kind of like a dip down, dip down, dip brow pomade. And I apply this with a really small definer brush to naturally cut that crease as I apply my next eyeshadow color. And I'm going in with Vermeer, which is kind of like an iridescent champagne, but very light champagne, almost white as you can see as I apply it. Plus the lights are kind of drying the color a bit. But um, it does have a sheen finish and I'm applying that all over the lid where I applied that NYX white base. And then I'm going back in with Love Letter with a more detailed brush to really blend, um, to really blend and buff out that application. In the outer corner of my eye, I'm going into my Artist Couture palette, that black, and then I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow brush and blend everything together. Taking a little bit more of that love letter on my 224 brush, I am just blending all the colors together because I really don't want that outer corner too dark. Um, my Ipsy bag this month, I received a angled brush. I don't remember the number, but it's from Lux Beauty. And I'm using my um, MAC gel eyeliner. I can't remember the name, you guys. I hardly ever use it, but I'll make sure to link the information below. Couldn't find my Inglot 77 liner, so this was the next best thing. It's a little bit more creamy. Um, not a matte finish like I do like for my Inglot, but it did what I needed to do. 
I'm just applying a more dramatic wing because I know my lashes are going to be a showstopper and I needed something that was going to stand out along with them. For my mascara, I'm using my CoverGirl Fiber something or other i'll make sure to link it below but it's a black i really am a snob when it comes to my mascaras i love a really good tight bristle that's going to grab my little baby hairs but i am prepping it for my lashes which i applied off camera but in my inner corner i'm using my artist couture palette and using that pink champagne i'm um, just to highlight the inner corner of my eye all right so the eyes are finished let's jump on that skin just wiping away any excess eyeshadow before i apply my primer you guys know i've been loving my tarte smoothing primer as you can see it's almost gone but i just think it's a great pore filler and i apply it just in my t-zone area before i apply any concealers or foundation for my concealer i'm using my radiant creamy concealer by nars and Coco, <laughs> I always kill that name, but I apply it in the dark areas of my face, whether I'm picking and I got scarring. I just think it's a great concealer to use before I apply my foundation. For foundation today, I'm mixing my Studio Fix foundation with my Sculpt foundation, both by MAC. I just love the finish. It gives you that matte finish, but also with a little satin, so it's not like tight on the skin, if that makes any sense. Just really great coverage. I'm using a damp beauty blender and applying this all over the face. For my highlight, I'm going with my Black Up Contour Stick in the color 4. I hardly ever use a lighter shade, but lately I've been mixing it with my other concealer from Ellie Girl, and I just love the overall color and coverage. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes, my forehead, nose, and chin, Cupid's bow as well. Same areas that we always highlight. And for contour, I'm just going to use the other side of the stick, and uh, which is the darker shade, to snatch that cheekbone, have that lovely lady sitting high and front and center and then along my forehead because I got a five head and then I decided to snatch my chin up a little bit something I don't do all the time but I felt like doing it today so that's what you got and I go ahead and blend this in with the same beauty blender that I applied my foundation This is my Morphe 439 um, buffer brush. You can use this for foundation, but I like to marry the highlight and the contour so that it's more seamless and gives me a more flawless finish. For setting powder, you guys know, I love my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Um, less about baking nowadays, more pressing it in. It is a great pore filler and gives you that flawless finish. Um, a lot of people ask me like, Amber, where are your pores? I'm like, underneath the powder, boo. She did. And then to set that contour, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder and the color Carab. I am brushing away all the excess powder from that Sasha setting powder, but I dipped a little bit into my Studio Fix powder in NW48 to really set the entire face. I know it seems like a lot of powder, you guys, but I'm oily, so I gotta set her straight. For my bronzer, I'm using my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. Let's just say I never leave home without it. And I go ahead and bring a little bit more color to the face. Who said brown girls can't bronze? The lies they be telling. 
um, I finish out my eye look with a coal eyeliner pencil this is actually from ColourPop make sure to list it below I got it in an ipsy bag and I've really been liking it just using my pencil brush to blend out that black before applying the same colors that I applied on the lid or my lower lash line um, primarily love letter that really pretty berry color that I used um, throughout the whole look I apply that on my lower lash line and blend it to smoke it out a bit make it a little bit softer and then I go in with more mascara for my outer lashes using that same covergirl fiber lash I can't remember the name of this guys but um, Zendaya has been talking about it a lot on Instagram and I just love covergirl mascaras I decided to pop a little bit more pizzazz on the lid shall I say by going in with my Urban Decay glitter liner don't remember the name off the top of my head but I'll make sure to list that information below as well that lovely beauty you see there for blush is by sleek cosmetics it is so freaking pretty and I don't use it as much as I should which is a damn shame for my highlighter I'm going with my cover FX candlelight color drop enhancer majiggies I like to apply it with my beauty blender um, before applying a powder highlight Speaking of powder highlights, I'm going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills The Glow Kit. It's interesting, this has been quite an Anastasia Beverly Hills video, but I'm applying um, the bronze and the bubbly, whatever those colors are, but nonetheless, I tend to use all four sometimes. I just really love this kit. Um, I apply it on my nose, keep this bow a little bit on my forehead, remember I'm oily, and I like to go back in with my blush brush and just bring the highlight and the blush together so it's not too stark on the face and marries really really well. And then I may pop a little bit more color on those cheeks as well. For my lips, no judgment, I'm using my plum liner by MAC and I will use it to the fingers start to interfere with application okay <laughs> but as far as lip I'm going with Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip in the color craft just in the outer portion because I want to kind of create an ombre appeal to the lip tonight um, and then for the inner I'm using ColourPop's mess around which is kind of like a grayish purple So there you have it gems, I'm just using a lip brush to marry those two colors together. Please forgive that loud noise in the background. My husband and the kids are playing FIFA on the PlayStation. You set that look and there you have it, your soft feminine glam using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Until our next video gems, shine bright, bye.